Greetings, dear brothers and sisters, in the holy, mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once again, the Messiah and Messiah alone be all the praise, honor, and glory. And today is the 22nd day, right, Anna? Yes. Right, David? Yes. Yes, today is the 22nd day, dear brothers and sisters, of the fourth month of the year 2020. And today we are on our day 11, day 11 of counting the Omer to Shavuot. Day 11 of counting the Omer to Shavuot. We once again welcome you, all our returning fellow brethren. We welcome you once again for Joe. We thank you for joining us and counting the Omer to Shavuot. Today we are in day 11. And if you're joining us once again for the first time, we welcome you, our dear fellow brethren. We truly believe in Messiah's house. There are no accidents. There are no coincidences. We are all here. We are all here by a divine appointment for our divine purpose. And once again, we have on our website, which we will be leaving the link in the description box in greater detail about why exactly do we need to do the what is the biblical mandate basically about counting the Omer to Shavuot, what exactly it is, and as well as our Omer blessing and the schedule for our Omer blessing, it will be on our website. So if the Lord leads you, please do take a look. Please do take a look at it. And if you have any questions, once again, dear brothers and sisters, please, please don't hesitate once again to contact us in our description box. Our contact will be there. Our comment section is also open. So today, before we begin our day 11, let us once again Bow our hearts, let us bow our heads, because it is never a good idea to enter God's word without his presence, without his walk guiding us and teaching us. So let's bow our hearts, let's bow our heads, and let's start with a short word of prayer. Shall we, Anna? Yes. Shall we, David? Yes. All right. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Father, as we come in your presence, we thank you, Lord, for one more glorious day, one more Day, Lord, you have ordained for each one of us to glorify you, to honor you, to exalt you, to worship you, and to be in thy presence. We thank you, Lord, that you are our God, that you are our soul sustainer, our breath giver, our all in all, our Messiah, our Savior. We thank you, Holy Father, for being our God. We thank you, Holy Father, for giving us this time, Lord. We bring our day 11 of counting the Omer to Shavuot in thy presence. We anoint this time and we bring all our dear brothers and sisters, every single of our dear fellow brethren, in thy presence, Lord. We pray, Lord, once again, please do pour out your spirit on each one of us. May there be a revival in our relationship with our Redeemer through thy word, Lord. Renew our minds, renew our thoughts once again, Lord, and help us to understand, Lord, what you have for us during this time as we dwell on your word, Lord. Please do open thy words to our hearts and lives and our hearts and lives to thy words so that your purposes and only your mighty purposes can be accomplished through each and every one of us, through each and every single of our dear fellow brethren. As we surrender every single of our dear fellow brethren and ourselves at this time, and day 11 of counting the Omer to Shavuot into thy mighty hands, in the name above every single name of our Redeemer, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen, and amen, and amen. All right, dear brothers and sisters, today we will once again start, of course, our Omer counting, counting the Omer, the 11, with the Omer blessing, we will do first in Hebrew, today our seven-year-old son David, he will do the Omer blessing in Hebrew, and you can please go ahead, David. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim Melech HaOlam. Asher Kitshanu, Bimitz Futav, Betizavanu, Asaferat HaOmen. Amen and amen and amen. And the Omer blessing in English today, our 10 year old Dorana, she will be doing for us, and you can please go heaven. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and directed us to count the Omer. Amen and amen and amen. And for our D11, dear brothers and sisters, we'll start with Psalm 11 and our seven year old son. David, he will do Psalm 11 for us, and you can please go ahead, David. Psalm 11. Faith in the Lord's righteousness. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? 
For look, the wicked bender bow. They make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try, test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire, and brimstone, and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness, his countenance beholds the upright. And the second psalm, second psalm for the 11, Psalm 61. Our 10 year old daughter Anna will do Psalm 61 for us, and you can please go ahead. Psalm 61 Assurance of God's eternal protection to the chief musician on a stringed instrument, a psalm of David. Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. Selah. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life, his years, as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Praise God. Praise God. And the third psalm for the 11, the psalm 111, psalm 111, praise to God for his faithfulness and justice. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endures forever. He has made His wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear Him. He will ever be mindful of His covenant. He has declared to His people the power of His works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of His hands are verity and justice. All His precepts are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to His people. He has commanded His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is His name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do His commandments. His praise endures forever. Praise God, praise God, praise God. We thank you so very much, all our dear fellow brethren, once again for joining us, for counting the Umar to Shavuot for day 11. We are the end of day 11. We thank you so very much, once again, all our dear fellow brethren, for joining us for day 11, for counting the Umar from Resurrection Sunday to the Pentecost Sunday, this, to Shavuot. And today, let us end with a short word of prayer. Would you please like to say a short word of prayer for us, Sana? Yes. All right, you can please go ahead. Lord Jesus, once again, I bring ourselves in your presence, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for your word for this time. And for one more opportunity, Lord, to dwell on your word, Lord. Help us, Lord, to meditate on your word and to build our lives on it, Lord. And to be doers of your word as you want us to, Lord. In Jesus Christ, who we need you. Amen and amen and amen. We thank you so much, Anna, for praying for us once again. And would you also like to say a short word of prayer for us, please, David? Yes. All right, you can please go ahead, David. 
Our Lord, our King, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this time. And I thank you, Lord, for your love for us, Lord, and for your word, Lord. And help us, Lord, to trust in you and keep dwelling and meditating and ruminating on your word, Lord. Help us, Lord, to trust in your word, Lord, and not to give in to all of the enemies, sees, Lord. In the holy name of our Lord, our Savior, our King, and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died for us and rose again, we pray all this. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. We thank you so much, David, for praying for us. Once again, we thank you so very much, all our dear fellow brethren, for joining us for day 11 of Counting the Umar to Shavuot. Let us keep dwelling in His Word. Let us be in His presence, Lord willing. We will be back with our day 12, day 12 of Counting the Umar to Shavuot, Counting the Umar to Shavuot. We thank you so very much, all our dear fellow brethren, and may, and may God bless each and every one of you. Shalom.